Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Tuesday, August 25th, and our reflection this morning comes from Acts chapter 9, uh, verses 32 through 43. Listen to these words. Now, as Peter went here and there among all the believers, he came down also to the saints living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been bedridden for eight years, for he was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you, get up and make your bed. And immediately he got up, and all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas, and she was devoted to good works and acts of charity. At that time she became ill and died, and when they had washed her they laid her in a room upstairs. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, who heard that Peter was there, sent two men with the request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them, and when he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs. All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them. And Peter put all of them outside, and he knelt down and prayed. And he turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up, and then calling the saints and widows, he showed her to be alive. This became known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Meanwhile, he stayed in Joppa for some time with a certain Simon, a tanner. This is the word of the Lord. I am uh, I'm kind of fascinated by this story this morning, not because of the miracles, which are, of course... Um, uh, wonderful things for us to reflect on, but um, because of the the line um, in in thirty nine that says, "All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing the tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them." What are people going to show about us when um, we have gone? What are people going to remember about us. Now, Tabitha still had much more ministry left to do after Peter raised her, but at the time that uh, she passed, the community was gathering to to share uh, in, their, in their time of, um, to share their memories and, and, and their sadness. One of the things that many have found interesting about this time we're in is that we have, as a nation, have not really mourned uh, what has been going on. Uh, we're all doing that individually, but there's something about the group coming together and, um, and sharing about what people who have passed away have meant to us. And so I ask that you think about today, one, uh, what you uh, can be will be remembered for, and also uh, be thinking think about ways that you can uh, honor those um, who have who have passed, those who have um, ended their journey, those who have died. Uh, let us today reflect on our communities and it, their need for for healing and for grieving and how we can bring new life into them. Let us pray. Glorious God, we give you thanks for this day and this chance again to join our journeys to yours. We pray that you move within our lives and help us to see how um, we are blessed by those around us. Help us to find good ways to grieve what is going on around us, the many losses that we have. And may we remember that we are always anchored through your Spirit in your Son, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 
Family of God, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Shalom.